Ethereum to 100,000. Look at this before you are too late. War of reaching the highest spot between the two market giants, Ethereum and Bitcoin, was going on for so long. Ethereum was on the second spot in the rankings, and it still is. But the war is going to end soon. Ethereum, with its massive growth pattern and major technical upgrades, is going to be the greatest cryptocurrency currency ever, leaving Bitcoin behind. Today's video is going to be about how and why, according to Charles Hoskinson, Ethereum is going to reach its $100,000 real soon. Welcome back to Ethereum News. Here you will find the latest news about Ethereum. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you want to stay updated with the latest information, price predictions, and news about Ethereum. Thanks again for watching and enjoy this video. Ethereum was launched in July 2015 by a minor group of blockchain devotees. They involved Joe Lubin, founder of Consensus, a blockchain applications developer that uses the Ethereum network, Another co-founder, Vitalik Buterin, is credited with inventing the idea of Ethereum and now assists as its CEO and public face. Buterin is sometimes described as the world's youngest crypto billionaire. Vitalik Buterin first defined Ethereum in the 2013 white paper. Buterin and other co-founders secured fundings for the project in a public sale online in 2014. The project team was able to raise $18.3 million in Bitcoin and Ethereum's price in the initial coin offering, or ICO, was 0.311 cents to the dollar, with over 60 million Ether sold. Taking Ethereum's price now puts the return on investment, or ROI, at an annualized rate of over 270%, essentially almost quadrupling your investment every year since the summer of 2014. Ethereum was invented and developed by programmer Vitalik Buterin in 2015, on the heels of Bitcoin. Ethereum is a decentralized open source blockchain system that features its own cryptocurrency, which is Ether. ETH functions as a platform for the execution of decentralized smart contracts and for numerous other cryptocurrencies. In the beginning, the Ether cryptocurrency was intended to be used within the Ethereum network. However, like Bitcoin, Ether is now a recognized form of payment by some merchants and service vendors. Overstock, Shopify, and CheapAir are among the online sites that accept Ether as payment. The live Ethereum price today is $4,032.53 in US dollars, with a 24-hour trading volume of 25,662,565,219 US dollars. We update our ETH to USD price in real time. Ethereum is down 9.26% in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is number two with a live market cap of 477,841,867,157 US dollars. It has a circulating supply of 118,496,694 ETH coins. Ethereum today's downfall is just a temporary down and is not going to have permanent effects. It happened because of the overall temporary downfall in the market and partly due to the major technical upgrade in the system. Today the topic of our talk will be about the remarks of Charles Hoskinson, the founder of Cardano and co-founder of Ethereum, and why he thinks Ethereum could easily hit $100,000 by year-end with some positive price action. Charles Hoskinson is a Colorado-based mathematician and technology entrepreneur. He is also the founder of Cardano and a co-founder of Ethereum, which are two of the world's most popular cryptocurrency networks. Hoskinson started off in consulting but quit his job in 2013 to focus on crypto and its potential, believing that the limited supply quality of Bitcoin made it a form of digital gold. Later that year, he developed the BitShares network, an early decentralized exchange platform. Then, he started the Bitcoin Education Project where he met Vitalik Buterin, and together, along with several other co-founders, they started Ethereum. Though Hoskinson was the CEO of Ethereum, his stint at the company did not last long. Hoskinson disagreed with Vitalik Buterin's vision for ETH and left the project in June 2014. Together with Jeremy Wood, another co-founder of ETH, Hoskinson started their own blockchain project, Input Output, or IOHK 
a third-party development company that builds cryptocurrencies and blockchains for academic institutions, governments, and corporations. He is currently the CEO of IOHK. Their mission is to supply financial services to the 3 billion people around the world who do not have transparent and equitable financial and governance systems. The most notable project to come out of IOHK is Cardano, a blockchain and smart contract platform that uses an internal cryptocurrency called ADA. Poskinson has funded several blockchain technology research labs around the world, including the University of Edinburgh, Tokyo Institute of Technology, and the University of Wyoming. He has been critical of the growing energy consumption problem inherent to Bitcoin and claimed that Ethereum is far more energy efficient. He has continuously campaigned for crypto industries and been instrumental in changing people's perceptions of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. Despite that, he is an early adopter of virtual currencies. He entered the space when Bitcoin was traded close to $1. When the digital currency moved to $250, he decided to lead other major projects and start moving forward with the expansion in the crypto space. It is worth mentioning that he is among the early Ethereum investors as the co-founder of the network. However, he didn't disclose part of his investments in the crypto project or whether he sold all his coins after some time. Hoskinson is such a big name in the field of crypto that one cannot deny the importance of his words about crypto. And now, he has predicted that Ethereum is going to be $100,000 soon. And his magical words are coming true. Ethereum has hit the record high in the last few days. In the last few months, he has become extra self-assured about Ethereum even as competing for Layer 1 protocols including Polkadot, Solana, Cardano, and Avalanche have sprung up and surged in popularity. In his new view, while these Layer 1 protocols themselves are exclusive implementations, many of the DeFi apps on these competing chains are mostly copy and paste versions of those on Ethereum in terms of core concepts, use cases, and business models. But it is the resilience of Ethereum in the face of all this rivalry that he finds the most remarkable. Although the volume of total value locked on Ethereum for DeFi has fallen to about 70% of the market share from approximately 99% six months ago, Wong said many of the protocols that Ethereum has lost share to are heavily incentivized. He was referring to the numerous incentive programs set up by competing protocols to attract DeFi applications to move to their chains. But the question is, why is he so confident about Ethereum's such tremendous growth? Ethereum which already has the most mature software developer ecosystem, continues to go through major technical perfections. He claimed that the route that Ethereum is on for the next year is really unmatched in its history. If it can reach there, I think the relative competitive difference between Ethereum and the other layer ones will widen dramatically, and then we will truly see the market start valuing them on a fair basis. In simple terms, Ethereum has greatly profited from the rollout of EIP-1559, a major upgrade to the network that has helped burn 660,609 Ether tokens worth about $2.8 billion as of Thursday afternoon. Meanwhile, Ether, which was trading at $4,249, has been tracking the 2017 price action of Bitcoin, which surged to $20,000 from $1,000 mostly in the fourth quarter of that year. Charles Hoskinson believes that Ethereum can easily hit $100,000 this year with some positive price action. If we look at the figures from the last one year, we can see tremendous growth in the value of the coin. On November 26, 2021, Ethereum's price was $517.49, and its 24-hour trading volume was $16.83 billion, while on November 26, 2021, the price was $4,056.60, and the trading volume reached up to $18.71 billion. Looking at this chart, we can see a tremendous increase in the price and per day trading volume for Ethereum, which goes to show its success and proves that it is going to be the greatest cryptocurrency soon, leaving Bitcoin behind. So, Ethereum's present price is $4,063.48. In the last 24 hours, the lowest point it touched was $3,933.51, and the highest point it reached was $4,550.84, and that is a positive sign on its own. Present market dominance of Ethereum is 19.71%. Although Ethereum faced a slight low in the last few hours, it is only temporary and normal in the fragile world of crypto. 
But what is encouraging for the investors is such good predictions from the experts and analysts like Charles Hoskinson and James Wong. And finally, the overall figures and growth also stand as witness of Ethereum reaching $100,000. We would like to mention that we do not give any financial advice and that this video is for educational use only. Always do your own research before you invest in anything. We would like to see you again in our following videos and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Well, this was it for today and thanks again for watching this video.